Hi. The end result of 14 long years in power by the Conservatives has left the UK in tatters. Super and infrastructure literally crumbling away and ceasing to function. Then there's the disillusionment caused by their corruption, sleaze and crash in the economy. But from the Tories' parliamentary and media performances, despite losing by-election after by-election, they radiate the supreme confidence that only hardwired arrogance can provide, despite being an abject failure in every single endeavour, reducing a third of the population to effective socio-economic political disenfranchisement, with even sections of the middle class beginning to feel the pinch. Yet, up to this juncture... In time, Sunak, the Tories remain a study in smugness, as if they have a secret weapon to unleash at the very last moment, a victory snatched at the very last moment from the jaws of overwhelming defeat. But now, worry is beginning to crawl through the ranks of blue. It's the Reform UK, who've reached 15%, in one opinion poll, and continue an upward climb, eating away mainly at the Tory vote. Then there's the fear of defection to remain UK. Lee Anderson having started the ball rolling. Reform will be lucky to win an actual seat, but the amount of electoral damage they will inflict on the Tories could be tremendous. The bitter irony is that the political mood is a never-ending rightward drift, yet it's Labour assumed to be mild pink, in reality, headed towards the centre-right, who will be the ones cruising to victory come general election time. Let it be known that interesting times lie ahead post-election, with the lead-up providing some dramatic moments for the fading Tories. However, to hell with a lot of them. Labour, Tories, Reform and all the other political scumbags. Bye.